guys, how you doing? This is a general reading for the Collective of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. Those of you who may be brand new, stopping here for the first time, say hello in the comments. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I do at the end of my day, circle back around, come in the comments, I review them, and I reply. So, it's Virgo season. Whoop, whoop. And happy birthday to all my Virgo sisters and brothers. Yes, I am a Virgo son. I have more Leo and Libra in my chart than anything, but and I love Leo season. But boy, whew, when Virgo season comes around, I take such a big sigh of relief because <laughs> I like the calm. Um, so happy birthday. All the best to you on your next trek around the sun, Virgos. Yes, we celebrate you. Okay, so I'm going to pull from Whispers of Love Oracle. Something for our softer side. Let's see what message comes through. Card nine, slow down. Pause and allow things to unfold. Yes. Now, isn't that just the most Virgo of all? And, of course, Nine of Pentacles in Tarot is associated with the sign of Virgo, so I love the numerology. So nice. Okay, so I'm going to pull the main spread, give you my general impressions real quick-like. We'll get details from the clarifiers. Here we go. Virgo. Aha! The sun. Mm -hmm. A little challenge. Um, so there's a little challenge to this sense of joy, bliss, happiness. Um, something weighing on us that may be difficult to release. Yes, and the unconscious awareness, painful ending, we might still be struggling to let go of. Um, so it's hearkening to the past. I'm not sure it's happening now. Temperance in the past. Um, is a card of patience too, believe it or not. I mean, so there's something maybe you've been trying to wait out, like, you know, it's about self-control and restraint and kind of going with the flow a little bit. It's, it's wisdom, it's got a lot of higher mind kind of qualities to it. But I feel like you're reaching a breaking point now in your conscious awareness page of cups, which would speak to a message from the heart something sincere maybe a message of apology even and then we have the ten of cups so we may be coming towards some sort of um like it's it was worth the wait for the apology mm -hmm. that's where i think we are but we'll see the sun and the ten of wands Seven of Swords, Six of Wands, Queen of Wands. So, yeah, maybe some form of uh, perceived betrayal, deception. Could be anything. It's a general reading, not a private reading. So, remember throughout to take it as it resonates for your situation. I do offer private readings. The link to that uh, booking page is always in the description box below. But see, this would re resemble the reconciliation um seven of swords in there queen of wands could be some reference to third party could just be um that energy uh, of yours almost like the allure the pull of this um this person coming towards you for some form of reconciliation because the cards from the bottom of the deck, for those who are new, is either something in unconscious awareness or playing out behind the scenes. So let's see the Ten of Swords in your unconscious awareness in the down deep below of it all. Virgo for sure. There's something that you've been processing in a very solitary way about whatever has happened here in this connection, you may still have some feelings that of self-protection 
maybe even a little defensiveness. Um, underneath is the Nine of Cups, and and that for me is just kind of coming through as some some desire for some wish fulfillment, a sense of um, self satisfaction on an emotional level, almost like I'm gonna get mine, right? Not in a mean spirited way. Um, the Seven of Wands can be that moment where, like, we, we step in, right? Um, how do I want to say it? It's not like, it's, it's where, we, where we get our voice and we, we make ourselves clear when we're up against some kind of heated energy, we kind of say, no, here's how it is. That's what I'm feeling from this Seven of Wands. So maybe a, a little bit of both, maybe a little feeling still um, that you've been processing on your own of self-protection, but also of, yeah, hell no, no, no. Um, and the self-satisfaction that will come from that. So you know how sometimes when something happens, and we're waiting for that opportunity. That's what I'm feeling. We're waiting for that apology. We're waiting for that opportunity to have our say. And even though this isn't the speaking card, normally that would be um, in one of, there are lots of speaking cards, the Seven of Wands isn't one of them, but that moment where we step forward with some certainty and with some power and with some authority and we're, we're, we're unambiguous about it. That's what I'm feeling here, um, is what you're processing internally. So let's see the temperance card. Had a tower moment. Thought there was a new beginning. Got the rug pulled right out from under you. And you, I don't think you reacted, or if you, if you reacted, there wasn't much that you could do about it. And so you have been very wisely spiritual wisdom here in the temperance card, um, waiting, not waiting like I'm going to get my turn, not that way, but there's that wisdom that says this will all work itself out, right? In time, all energies come back into flow and balance. And so there's that wisdom in, in the face of something very dramatic, tower, 10 of swords, but the 10 of wands is you're still carrying it. You're still carrying whatever happened and you probably didn't see it coming. It kind of was done behind your back or it was shady. And here is this potential reconciliation coming towards you and you're going to have your moment. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Page of Cups is now on your mind. In your conscious awareness, wow. The apology. Uh, it is an apology. Um, death card and underneath is the king of pentacles for the ending of something uh, where there was they were supposed to have your back they didn't have your back I feel like you're kind of reliving something that had already that has already happened but getting the message for some of you you could have already received this apology for others of you it's like you're playing it in your mind um, right the apology for for not having your back for not showing up for you oh my goodness Woo! ten of cups in the near future king of swords ace of wands eight of swords okay so whatever this message is, I feel you're anticipating it to some degree. I'm not seeing, 
I'm not seeing that it's coming, but I'm seeing that you're thinking about it. That's on your conscious awareness. And it will come as a great relief. And whoever this person is, they will be wanting to do the right thing. And it's up to you whether you receive it. Right? That Ace of Wands, the, ace, the Aces are gifts from spirit, so it could represent this reigniting of a torch of passion. It could be um, sort of the, the, the new beginning that fell apart. But then we have that Eight of Swords where there could be some, some stuck energy, second-guessing it all, lots of doubt. And the potential is good, um, but maybe because we're energetically rehearsing what, what has happened and what it would feel like to have that moment to step forward and to speak up for oneself and to that satisfaction that one would feel, it's like we're re rehearsing the closure of it. But if the closure doesn't come because what's on offer is a new beginning, then it's like, now what do I do? <laughs> that wasn't what I was expecting. So it's, it's interesting, Virgo, or whoever you are watching, there is something very interesting on the horizon for you. I want to take a look-see in the extended from this person's, uh, you know, I want to get more from them. Now, what I'm doing in the extended is I'm looking at the relationship more from a what's working for this connection, what works for you, and what works against you kind of a point of view. So um, this is looking at the overview and of what has been going on here. Um, your present energy, conscious awareness, unconscious awareness, past and near future but for the connection we're looking at it of taking a deeper dive so i also want to get a message from this person what do they want you to know and then i'll finish this celtic cross with the last three cards in the extended the links to that are below and you have a couple different options for how you can access the extended so do um, check those out before you click buy and I'm going to tell you the astrology that showed up here before I do that. If this spoke to you, if you believe this is your storyline, if you feel seen, validated, heard, acknowledged, if it was helpful, insightful, and you have not yet already done so, please subscribe below. Doesn't cost you a thing, but it does help me grow the channel. And we're in a new age on this platform. If you haven't heard by now, and I'm the first one to tell you, Definitely big shifts in the algorithms toward brand new creators and also the um, influencers. I'm neither of those things. So folks like me who have been here for a handful of years and haven't hit like, you know, 500,000 subscribers are getting lost in the shuffle and aren't getting our videos put in front of new viewers. So please help a girl out. Subscribe. You've already watched, so that's very helpful. Thank you for that. Okay, so here we go. The astrology, the sun is the sun. It does rule the sign of Leo. We've got Aries in our queen of wands. Virgo here in the hermit. Temperance is Sagittarian energy. The tower is Mars, which rules Aries. We've got the page of cups is all the water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the death card is more Scorpio. The King of Pentacles is Taurus. King of Swords is uh, Aquarius. So that's um, part one. And I'm headed to part two now. See you over there in a second. Bye for now.